know that it is not easy. But I tell you the truth, Scripture tells us after the rain, the song will shine again. Praise the Lord. You understand that there is a church, Christian community church, that wants to do a selection. Is Christian community church ready?
from this scripture. He comes, he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. Oh, A young man 
and tolerant and empathetic. He knew how to see through other people's eyes and walk in other people's shoes. Throughout his brief life, Samuel saw no reasons to argue about anything. Instead, he was always cooperative and supportive of every view and action that generated the peace, the harmony of other people, whether they are friends or they are enemies. Tico Square conducted himself in a creative atmosphere of self-control, peace, and an unbroken joy. He was renowned for his good conduct, a charity of spirit, faith, and a man with a pure heart. His sense of humor and his elegantly composed posture usually made Samuel Sua acceptable to every female that crosses his path for the first time. He was a responsible young man. He loved his family so well, such that no one could separate him from his fiancée, his three little children, and his family. Praise the Lord. He was so close to his family to the extent that he would not leave them for anything or for anyone. Making special mention of his older son, Damien, who was described as his handbag. He took the little boy everywhere, even to the corner store where he has to buy a cup of coffee. Tico believed in freedom, equality, and justice. And for that reason, he roamed the political landscape of Liberia, especially in the diaspora as a vanguard partisan of the Congress for Democratic Change. He conducted himself quietly, kindly, and diligently in every aspect of his activities. Most significantly, Sanders loved God and appreciated every principle and precepts founded on the Christian doctrine. He fell for the mark of church as a child, as an adult, meeting with his father, his father and his family. Meanwhile, in a sense of humor, he described his mother and father as people worshiping God as though Christ is coming down today. Consequence upon the character and the life of Jared. Tito stood up conspicuously in the community of Eagles to the extent that none of, the, of his students could sit still when they heard the news of his illness. His friends, his family, and all of us most intentionally and affectionately, affectionately sat at the feet of Jesus for six consecutive days, interceding for Sua to be restored back to life. However, God has his own purpose for Samuel at this time. Samuel Sua was an accepted young man, a great person, an upcoming warrior who could stand in front of any battle to demand victory at the hands of opposing forces. He was a good man, a decent man, and a reliable son of his spirits. That's why anybody would want to hear him. After all the eulogies, after all the testimonies and tributes, 
to hear that he was a good man. Praise the Lord. To the degree family, we are very sorry. Purposely, as a minister of the gospel, whenever I come to these events, I stand by the bereaved. Because I know it's not, I mean, it is one of us, it's all human beings that have experienced death. And of course, somebody says it happens always, but every time it happens, it breaks hearts. And so tonight, I want to let you know we are standing by you in Jesus' name. The homecoming of our brother I so much because not only he was in his prime, but also it happens in the presence of the church. A church not comprised of his traditional denomination and congregation, or not comprised of his covenant friends and family only, but also a true church of all ages and salvation levels. Evangelized by the Holy Spirit Himself to intercede for Samuel through love, compassion, and empathy. The church is and has always been the center of believers' life. It is a group of God's people gathered always to worship God. And in times of troubles, serve as the mouth and the hands of Jesus to heal, to comfort, and to fulfill God's purpose. Hence, the call of the church in this hostile world is not confined in the walls of the congregation, but extend to the lives or to the life and community in which the congregation resides. The church is a sanctuary from a, from so so. It's a sanctuary from many hardships. It serves as a place, houses in our context, where arriving refugees, immigrants, and Afro-American citizens can gather to break their temptations and troubles before their God. The church is a body of people who are always willing and ready to extend their arms and their shoulders for their believers or for, for, their, for their brothers and sisters to cry on in times of trouble. Ironically, the church has deviated so much from its call. Not by the devil. The church is no longer serving as the body of Christ that weeps with those that weep and rejoices with those that rejoice. Instead, it has become a personal property of pastors and bishops and apostles who care less about anyone else's pains or sorrow once their selfish interest has been satisfied. The pastors, the bishops, and apostles of the church today, especially in the 21st century, no longer preach the gospel to the poor and broken-hearted. Instead, they are preaching the gospel of tithes and offerings and redirecting God's praises to themselves. The church no longer serves as, serves as the medium of blessing to comfort those who are in need, but a generator of more peace and sorrows for those who are already having trouble and trials and temptations and afflictions. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. No, that is not a church bought by the blood of Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost as the overseer. I read this sentence again. The church is no longer serving, but the church no longer serves as the medium of blessing to comfort those who are bereaved, but a generator of pain and of more pain and sorrow for those who are already having troubles, trials, temptations, and afflictions. That's not a church. It's not a church that is bought by the blood of Jesus, but the Holy Spirit as the general who was here. Meanwhile, 
God works in a mysterious way. God has a way of using the devil for his glory. The devil did not know the grace of God upon Tico Sua. Blinded by selfishness and deceit and greed and manipulation, the devil could no longer, the devil could not imagine the power of God's grace that a great devil gave us to Sua and his wife Francis Sua to jump over the body of their young son to celebrate with their retiring colleague after 40 years of pastoral service. Not about forceful and negative intentions. The enemy did not have the slightest idea of the kind of friendly spurs have in Jesus. No, the devil did not know the series that the series of Philadelphia, Minneapolis, and St. Paul who overwhelmingly respond, who overwhelmingly respond to the death of Samuel Spur. Praise the Lord. To the death of Tico Spur with such a great concern, here and most importantly, their presence and contribution throughout these two months of Samuel Demise. You know, many things have happened in this time. I also love my elder brother in La Bureau in the same time. Besides me, he passed away on September 7 and was buried on October 2nd. He was alleged to have been present with Lydia. But when I heard the news, I broke down and began to cry so badly to the extent that I couldn't remember anybody I could call at the time. However, I began calling some immediate friends and family. Even the church that I know that when I call will be able to extend a word of comfort and encouragement, but everyone was far away. Some people thought I had cried because I didn't have money for my brother's funeral, but they were wrong. Most of the time, just a call is not for money, but there are certain people in your life that when the devil strikes, you want to talk to, you want to talk to for a word of comfort, encouragement, support, and strength. That is the purpose of the church. That is the purpose of Jesus Christ to fulfill. And that is the purpose of every believer, individually and collectively, to reach out to brethren in times of troubles and trials. If you have any problem, the church must always forgive and weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice. This is the gospel. The church, the church, there is an action that says it, that says human being is a broken state. But whatever it is, the church must always march on. No turning back. Scripture tells us. Let the church march on with open minds and open hearts. One man of God says, with that open heart, that reservoir of joy. Praise the Lord. That reservoir of joy. Let the church march on with open minds, especially with open hearts. That reservoir of goodness and love and peace. Believing that, or believing and trusting God for everything that is, of everything that is the gospel. Thank God for Jesus Christ, who came and gave us peace. The songwriter says, he has the friend that sticketh closer than a brother and deeper than a mother. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege is to carry everything to God in prayer. Jesus told Martha, I am the resurrection and life. Anyone who believes in me, though he die, he shall live again. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. He said, if you believe this, ready, and not a spot, to be founded, the Steve Rich, ladies and gentlemen, because what is alive, we may not be able to 
to have him among us tonight, or in the next few times to come, but he is resting in the bosom of Abraham, waiting for the waking up morning. We want to encourage you tonight, the Bibi family, and all who have come from far and near, to see Samuel off to, to see Samuel off, take heart, because God is in control. We want to let you know our God is still on the tomb. We want to know a human being is not the one who's going to comfort you. It's God himself that's going to comfort you. We understand we've been digging you for a night, but there is joy in the morning. I want to let you know tonight, there is a bright and money. There is a bright new day of joy coming in your life. The darkest hour of the night is only one hour. And after that, it's a brand new day. We want to thank you tonight. We want to let you know that God is with you. Mother said, Lord, it is right now. Whatever you ask of God, you will do it. You will give it to you very soon. I want to let you know tonight. And all of you will be refunded, some of children, all of those that are connected with Samuel. So now we want to let you know that whatever, this is an opportunity, whatever you ask of God in this time, we will do it for you. We want to thank God for you. We know we want to let you know that God himself will encourage you. But all of it, and in all of it, is God, is Jesus Christ, who is the friend we have in times of trouble. What? Our friend, we have in Jesus. Why? Our friend, we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Why?
will do a great selection. And after that, I will ask for Uncle William B. Swan. So please do a wedding ask for this baby, right?
fantastic. Okay. Announcement. If you have a wet Nissan, please go take please go take your car from the people driveway. Also, there's a lesson place, Pennsylvania lesson plate, L D W 2435. Please, it's a Nissan as well. Let us please try not to park in people driveway tomorrow, please. Thank you. The amount of time to apply away, please. Let us just have to be mindful tomorrow, please. Do not black in that driveway, that person's not driveway, don't park in that driveway, and please don't black people tomorrow. Um, before we go to the rest of the announcement, this coming Sunday at 5 p.m., right here at the Victory Habit International, will be African Christian United for Israel. This will be the second um, annual program at 5 p.m. We are invited. Please come on Sunday at 5 p.m. to celebrate with all African Christian on United for Israel. People swap with the rest of the announcement hopefully. Tomorrow by the rest of the world, we'll all be here on time tomorrow to continue on with the service. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm not getting it. Amen. Okay, now, on behalf of the Sula family, I just want to say a very big thank you. First of all, to the Victory Harvest Church, headed by Reverend Doctor. Who is here on this now? Can you just tell us what you want to do? Come and come there this way. All right. There's a man who wants a church. He's the head of the church, but he makes sure that when we need it, we always have it. So, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Reverend Doctor, thank you very much. And then, uh, secondly, I, you know, before I can close uh, my announcement, I want to say a very big thank you to, to, uh, to Reverend Maris for the message tonight. And you know, there are a couple of things that happen in your life. My father, Uncle Tushua, who is sitting there tonight, during the war, he lost four brothers and a sister. Five at one point. And then at the time I was in Sino, you know, the, with the Honorable Oscar Priya. My son, I got shot five times in my body. I thought we'll have it, you know, I got back to Moravia. And uh, this young man who died today, and he said, look, Uncle Duncan, my father now is lonely, but he's always said, he doesn't know whether he will die in Sano County or whether he will go back to Moravia. And so, in as much as that you are here, please be with my father. And so, I've been with him here for a very long time. Even after the time when he, when he said for me here in life, when the first is struck, when he said for me from Liberia, and I came from uh, Philadelphia. Everybody wanted me to leave Philadelphia. I said, I cannot leave this man alone. You know? And so we have been in this place for kind of so long. And I'm here with you because of the young man who died today. He said, Don't leave my uncle, or don't leave my father. So, uh, whatever we are about to say tonight is that uh, we want to say a very big thank you to a lot of people. Lot of people who have been doing injustice to ourselves and we say to all everybody leave. Zero. We can't leave. Hopefully tomorrow I'm not with the cause of the week. But we got to that we want to say a very big thank you to the Sula family themselves. We want to say a very big thank you to the Sula family. We want to say a very big thank you to the Sula family. We want to say a very big thank you to the family. For all that we're doing in our lives, send the death to the Lord. So for those of you that are here tonight, tomorrow we will be, 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 we will
If we don't do anything for that, please don't, 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 don't get us wrong. But we want to see a very good thing for all of you. It will say we will need all of you to do this best for ourselves. So thank you very much to the church, the seven brother, Martin Church, to the rest of the party church. All right, guys, we're going to end this section and I will be back with more. And I'll be calling on uh, each of you to join us.